Yo, what up, what up? It's your man, Big Brandon Carter. And this pains me to do this, you know, this really hurts my heart, man. But it has to be done. My friend, Grego Gallagher, put out a video talking trash about the ketogenic diet. Now, it's not Greg's fault. I love Greg like a brother. But he's wrong on this issue. And I'm about to prove it. This doesn't mean I have any beef with Greg. He's a cool guy. We're friends. Uh, I actually talked to him after that video came out. However, I can't let this nonsense slide. So let's go through Greg's video point by point and show you all the areas he was wrong. Now, again, this is not Greg's fault. I used to think some of the same stuff that he said until I actually tried the ketogenic diet and did it the right way. And then I saw crazy benefits in my physique, but, all, but more importantly, I saw other benefits. See, any diet will get you ripped. Any diet will get you ripped. But the ketogenic diet has a ton of other benefits that Greg conveniently left out. Now, here's the thing. He's posted some research as well. We're going to get into that. But he cherry-picked the research. That's the thing. He cherry-picked the research. He posted four studies. Anybody who does any research into the ketogenic diet, you'll find tons of studies, many of them showing the benefits of the diet. And we're going to get into that in this video. Let's go to Greg's video point by point, show you all the ways he was wrong. Easy enough. I've had so many people ask me, what are my thoughts on ketogenic diets? I've had people tell me they want to try and do a ketogenic diet. What do I recommend? And yeah, Greg, a lot of people have been talking to you about the ketogenic diet. In fact, somebody showed me a post on Facebook that you posted. Hey, why is everybody talking about the ketogenic diet recently? Because of me, man, because I have my book Keto Hacks coming out and we have a lot of overlap with fans because we've done a lot of videos together. We collab, we both talk about a lot of the same things in the past. So, yeah. First order of business, what is a ketogenic diet? Well, it's a very, very low carbohydrate diet. Invariably, um, you're keeping your carbs usually under 50 grams per day. That is incredibly low. No, Greg, no, 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 no. The ketogenic diet is not a low carb diet. It's a high fat diet with low carbs. The main point of the ketogenic diet is it's high fat and low carbs. It's a big difference between a high fat diet low with low carbs and just a low carb Atkins style diets. They are not the same thing. And yet you are going to have lower energy if you're doing just low carbs. Keto diet is different. See, there's a lot of misconceptions about the ketogenic diet. People think it's just low carbs. Even Greg thinks it's just low carbs and he's going around telling you guys this. That is not the case. That is wildly inaccurate. Now, Greg said this because, hey, man, I get it. It's not his fault. He just doesn't have a firm grasp of the material. That's why he was reading. <laughs> That's why he was reading from a prompter or something. It's for restocking muscle glycogen. Protein is important. For That's why he was reading from a prompter or something uh, when he was making this video because he doesn't have a firm grasp. And it's okay, man. Like, I get it, man. There was one time I didn't know about it. But, now that, but you're going to get educated today, brother. Um, and the goal is to put your body into ketosis, um, where it creates an energy byproduct to, to, to fuel your brain and, and, and so on and so forth, because um, your brain requires, you know, 100 plus grams of carbs per day. So you have to go through this ketosis process in which your body becomes fat adapted. No, low carbs will not put you into ketosis. A ketogenic diet is 75% fat intake, 20% protein, and 5% carbs, all right? Low carbs and keto are not the same thing. So this low carb stuff you're talking about will not put you into ketosis, right? So your whole argument is based off nonsense because Low carbs and keto is not the same thing. It's apples and oranges. It's football and American football. It's baseball and basketball. It's not the same thing, man. Cut it out. 
Um, and the idea is that in doing so, in, in doing that, you essentially, um, you essentially are able to burn fat really easily. There's a metabolic advantage, so you're going to get lean really easily. Your appetite is is diminished, and you know, getting lean, and then your body can. can and a lot of people, a lot of these people that talk about ketogenic diets, that speak to gaining muscle on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, mo exactly. And a lot of people, a lot of these people that talk about ketogenic diets, that speak to gaining muscle on it. And, and all these crazy benefits. Um, but I want to speak more so to what the research says. Yeah, let's look at the research. Let's look at what the research said. So in this study, 26 college age resistance trained men volunteered to participate in a study where they were divided into a low carb ketogenic diet, 5% carbohydrates, 75% fat, 20% protein. A real keto diet, not the low carb BS you were talking about. And the researchers compared them to some well-trained men on a traditional Western diet. 50, 55% carbs, 25% fat, 20% protein. All the participants participated in the same resistance training three times a week, similar to the way Greg trains. The results were startling. Lean body mass increased to a greater extent in the keto group as compared to the athletes on a traditional Western diet. Study concluded that muscle mass increased to a greater extent. The keto group gained more muscle, and guess what? The keto group also lost fat. I'm not making this shit up. The study is right there. How'd you miss this when you're doing your research, man? How'd you miss this? It's right there. It's right in front of you, man. The conclusion of this study was that the ketogenic diet was favorable in both building muscle and burning fat. And in this study, they did it at the same time. So when you look at ketogenic diets compared to other diets, the only times the ketogenic diets work is when they're lower in calories. When they match um, the calorie intake, there's actually zero metabolic advantage um, for the ketogenic diet. Are you me, Greg? Here's a study right here. It shows that when calories were equal, the ketogenic group lost 2.2 times more fat than the group that just cal calorie restricted. Come on, man, how'd you miss this shit? It was right here, man. Maybe you didn't miss it. Maybe it was conveniently left out. I wanna believe you just missed it. Whoever wrote that shit for you, man, they did you a disservice, man. They set you up for failure. It's not your fault, man. Whoever wrote that shit, they, they, they did a poor job. A, a, a big negative effect on on mood and well-being, on energy, on on, on vigor, um, and on vigor, on vigor, on vigor. That's wildly inaccurate. Low carb diet will have a negative effect on on, on vigor. There are crazy amounts of studies that show that. A uh, true ketogenic diet actually increases vigor, mood, and performance. I mean, here's two studies right here. With, with a lot of studies is when they match for protein intake, because a lot of times they'll compare low carb. When they show low carb diets outperforming non low carb diets, what really is going on is the low carb diet has more protein. As, as we know, proteins are very important for staying full, for uh, building muscle and um, you know, you know, really improving your, your fitness. So when they match for protein, there's really no advantage um, of, of, uh, of low carb. I don't think it's even worth going into this because low carb diet and ketogenic diet are not the same thing. They are not the same thing. They are wildly different. They're in the same ballpark. They're the same the way that a woman is the same as a man, but they are two totally different things, right? Uh, they are similar, but not the same, all right? So yeah, you're right about that, but that has nothing to do with a ketogenic diet. On, on, on vigor. My real problem with Greg's video was the cherry picking of the research. Yeah, you can find some ne negative effects of ketogenic diet. You can find some negative effects of intermittent fasting. You think I can't find some uh, negative, some studies that show the intermittent fasting is bad? You can find studies to prove your point. But when you just cherry pick them and say that there's nothing good, there's no benefit, that's where I take issue. So let's go on to the next point. I mean, one study was a six week trial. They had people go on a 
ketogenic diet, and they actually saw decreases in power, in VO2 max, um, just the list went on. Again, I don't want to debate that study. That study is that study and it's conclusive and I agree with the findings. However, it's the cherry picking. Like here's a, a study that shows that the ketogenic diet increased performance in VO2 max, right? And there's another study where they did with elite gymnasts who work out way harder than me and Greg and there was zero negative effect on performance. So it's just that, man. It's like, you can, sure, you can find research that says it's ineffective or that it doesn't work, but you can also find research and actually more research that shows the positive effects. See, you can do this with almost anything. We can go around picking shit off the internet, Googling shit. I'll, right now, I'll post a fucking study showing you that water is bad for you. I'll show a study showing that caffeine is bad for you, right? And Greg drinks black coffee every day, right? Maybe you shouldn't be drinking it. Maybe you shouldn't be telling you to drink caffeine. Here's all the negative effects of caffeine. You can do that with anything. But let's not pretend that there aren't some positive effects or there are not a lot of positive effects just because you can find some negative effects. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't like paying taxes, but I like street lights and I like paved roads. And if I call the police, I want them to show up, right? So yeah, it's a negative effect that I have to pay the government so much, but it's also positive that if my house burns down, someone will come put out the fire. You understand what I'm saying? The cherry picking is, is, is not what's up. Is concerned. Ketogenic diets, there's really no reason to go on them if your goal is to get lean or to build muscle. Now, again, that's inaccurate because I've already posted two studies to show that the ketogenic diet actually was favorable for muscle building. Like these are studies, I'm not making this up, right? And that the, the people who were all trying to lose weight lost twice as much weight, but they're also their blood work improved. Like, check it out. I used to eat like Greg, man. I was on the same thing, you know, just, if, you know, if it's my macros, uh, intermittent fasting, calories in, calories out. What happened was my cholesterol went fucking haywire. I have some of this right here. And I'm not saying this will happen for you, but there's studies, there's tons of studies that show that a ketogenic diet actually improves cholesterol levels dramatically. And I can attest to that. As you can see, my high cholesterol, my cholesterol was, my cholesterol was 297 when I was eating just anything I wanted, like Greg, all crazy. And then my HDL was only 23. Those were really bad because I was eating similar to the way Greg eats now, burgers, fries, eating like crap but still staying in the caloric deficit so I was able to stay lean and in good shape on the outside. But the inside, my my blood levels were going crazy haywire. My, 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 cardio, my cardiovascular levels were off and my cholesterol was retarded. I went on a ketogenic diet. In about one month, in about one month, my cholesterol dropped 100 points and my good cholesterol went up to uh, 59, which is like around where it should be, right? That's still not great cholesterol levels, but it's only in one month. And then I don't have the, the sheet from the last time I got tested, but since I've been on ketogenic for a while, my cholesterol total is 160 and like 164, I remember. My HDL is up to 60. So yeah, any diet to get you ripped, but the ketogenic diet has so many other benefits and health benefits, right? It's not just about getting ripped. If all you wanna do is get ripped, then yeah, man, any diet will work, like I said before. But the ketogenic diet has so many other benefits. And health and longevity is one of the most important ones, if not the most important one, right? If all you care about is getting ripped, this is all about vanity, then, you know, just eat whatever you want. You know? I will say that one of the advantages for maybe the general population of doing a ketogenic diet is it's a lot easier to control for calories if you just say, okay, I'm just not going to eat carbs, and you cut out a huge food group, and now you're forced to eat, you know, meats and vegetables. That can help you just keep your calories low automatically, but it takes a ton of discipline. You know, I wouldn't really want to do that. I wouldn't really want to never have carbs again. Well, that's the thing. There's 
different types of ketogenic diet, all right? And then there's some that allow for carbs. There's the cyclical ketogenic diet, where you have carb days once or twice a week, and then you go back into ketosis, all right? Or there's the targeted ketogenic diet, where you first you get uh, keto adapted, right? And your, your, your body's used to burning fat as energy, and then you have carbs specifically timed around your workouts to strategically spike insulin right so you don't have to never have carbs again and it doesn't take a ton of discipline but is a ton of discipline a bad thing is that something that we should encourage is not having discipline or being undisciplined is that what's going to make your life better does that help people i don't know but anyway i don't want to get off topic but i will say that you don't have to never have carbs again you there's many different types of ketogenic diets that's the thing. And so, you know, man, I love Greg, man. It's just he doesn't know, right? That's the purpose of this uh, video to educate those of you who don't know about the ketogenic diet who may have some misconceptions. And, you know, you know, going a little further here, there's actually negative effects of going very low carb. For example, testosterone will go down on a very, very low carb diet. Um, uh, the research, again, is clear on that. And that's my experience. When I used to do very low carb diets under 100 grams per day, my sex drive went down on, on, on vigor. Yo, you're right. A uh, low carb diet will, will significantly reduce your testosterone levels. But low carb and ketogenic diet are not the same thing. That's why Greg should not talk about this subject because he's clearly misinformed or uninformed. All right? and a ketogenic diet are not the same thing. That's because a ketogenic diet is high fat. It's high fat. And high fat is great for testosterone. On, on, on vigor. There are tons, I mean tons of studies that show that high fat intake will increase testosterone production. This is indisputable. In fact, Gregory, your boy, your friend Christopher Walker, has an article on his website about this, just this. He writes, you will skyrocket your testosterone by consuming high fat. I didn't really need to go into that because a low carb diet and a ketogenic diet are not the same thing. On the low carb diet, certain point in the work, I just hit this wall and I just was dead. Yeah, man, I feel you. That was exactly my experience on a low-carb diet is too. And that's why you should try keto instead of low-carb diet because they're not the same thing. Really, the only reason you'd want to experiment with a very low-carb diet is because, for whatever reason, it helps you keep your calories lower. No, there's no reason to experiment with a low-carb diet. You want to be doing keto, which is a high-fat diet, which is different than the fucking low-carb diets, Greg. God damn it. Don't you even know that? Only reason to do that is not to keep your calories low. It's because studies show that there's a lot of benefits outside of that. You will have uh, better cholesterol levels, as the case with meat, okay? Your mood will increase, as the studies I, I posted uh, before show. Uh, you will have greater cognitive function, okay? There's studies that show ketogenic diet helps with acne. Greg had pimples in that fucking video he posted because he's eating like crap. You know what I'm saying? If you want clear, flawless skin, f with keto. All right, there's studies that prove that. Ketogenic diet is also used to treat diseases, right? Cancer, one of the best because cancer cells can only live off glycogen. And one of the main benefits of the ketogenic diet, it keeps your glucose levels low. Your body doesn't run off glucose, it runs off ketones when it converts the fat into ketones for energy, okay? Tumors cannot run. They cannot live off ketones. They can only live off glycogen. So if you have a history of cancer in your family, then the ketogenic diet is something you should definitely look into. If you have a, a history of hypertension, ketogenic diet is something you should look into. If you have uh, acne, the ketogenic diet, I promise, will clear that up. You know, And there's studies to corroborate that. It's used to treat brain injuries, concussions, epilepsy, and Parkinson's disease. Not just to treat these diseases, but it's also a preventative measure. See, if all you care about is getting ripped, then yeah, man, any diet will work. There's a diet called the Twinkie diet, where all the dude did was eat Twinkies and he was in a caloric deficit and he lost weight, right? Caloric deficits work. Any diet will work. 
But the ketogenic diet is about so much more and has so many other benefits. If you're hungry, then maybe you should do a very low, low carb diet, but there's ways to circumvent that easily. For example, intermittent fasting, like I teach when you fast, it's so easy to stay in a deficit. It is so easy. You fast the first four to six hours of the day, sparkling water, some black coffee. And here's the point of Greg's video. It wasn't to inform you, it wasn't to give you any advice, it was to get you to buy his protocol. His buy, Everyone, go buy Greg's program. Go buy Greg's program. Good programs, man. They're put together really well. Go buy them. If all you care about is getting ripped, then this is a good protocol for you. However, so much evidence shows that the ketogenic diet actually decreases hunger within itself. It makes you so less hungry when you're in ketosis. Low carb, you'll be miserable. But as I said, the ketogenic diet and a low and a low carb diet are two totally different things, right? And it's not binary. You don't have to just do keto or just do intermittent fasting. You can actually do both and get the effects of both. Like I used to just do intermittent fasting. Now I do intermittent fasting and keto, and my results are amazing. Why does it have to be one or the other, man? Why does it have to be like that? It doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Three plus three equals six. But that does not mean that four plus two doesn't equal six. You understand what I'm saying? It's like there's infinite calculations that will get you to the number six. And you do yourself a disservice by deliberately limiting the number of ways or the number of calculations you're willing to use. It doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to demonize another protocol just because you have a protocol you think is best or you think you that, that it's good for you or that you sell, right? You don't have to demonize another uh, protocol. So listen, go buy Greg's program. Go buy Greg's program. Everybody, go buy Greg's program uh, if all you care about is getting rid of it. But if you want the additional benefits that come with the ketogenic diet, then you should at least give it a try. And that doesn't mean that Greg's program don't have additional benefits past when they do. Like I'm saying, again, Greg's my boy and his programs are good. But to try to say that keto is just whack because it's not what you sell seems disingenuous. People always want to complicate things. You see, the industry always changes. It goes through cycles. You know, last year, the vegan diet was the biggest thing. Everyone was talking about the vegan diet, vegan diet, vegan diet. Um, and now this year, of course, it always comes back full circle. Now it's a ketogenic diet. Um, but I like to focus on what actually gets results, not on the fads. And a lot of people like to jump behind the fads because it's cool, it's trendy, but I'm gonna speak to what actually works. I don't know if the ketogenic diet can be classified as a fad. If it was invented in the 1930s to treat diseases, right? The reason it was invented by doctors to treat diseases was because of the numerous health benefits that I've already discussed and show studies to corroborate. It just so happens to get you ripped as well. And that's what I'm saying, any diet will work, but the ketogenic diet has tons of other benefits. To classify it as a fad is just, um, it's almost irresponsible, right, to that cancer patient who's, who's who's taking it, who's doing the ketogenic diet because, you know, it, it helps uh, decrease uh, the speed of tumor growth. You're going to go to him and say, you want some bad diet. Come on, man, get real. People always want to complicate things. We don't want to just complicate things. We don't want to just complicate things. We want you to be accurate when you present this information, all right? Low carb diet is not the same as a ketogenic diet. So when you talk about all the negative effects you had uh, doing low carbs, it is negligible. You know, it's null and void. It's a null, it's a moot point. It means nothing because it has nothing to do with a ketogenic diet. They're two totally different things. Now, at the end of the day, hey, I sell a program called Keto Hacks, all about you know uh, how to do the ketogenic diet the right way, how to get all the benefits. So I'm biased, right? The same way Greg is clearly biased, right? You just keep, you do intermittent fasting is the only way. Hey, buy, buy, Greg's, buy Greg's program. Everybody watches buy Greg's program, you know, or, or, or I'm not gonna tell you about my program. 
coming up to you buy my program I want you to register for a free class I'm giving where I'm going to break down for an hour and answer all your questions about the ketogenic diet right because I'm biased right so let's let's just do it I'm going to go to theketohacks.com link should be down here and I'm going to give a full class all about the ketogenic diet and answer your questions live all right because I, I just want there's a lot of information out here that's just not accurate and people are spreading out spreading bad information uh i don't think greg did it maliciously i just he just clearly just, just didn't know what he was talking about when he made the video you know what i'm saying chris did you write that did you write that video chris all right that's your boy you set him up you set him up man it wasn't cool chris uh, i love greg like a brother that's my dog and his programs are good like i'm not just being sarcastic he's good he makes good videos he's a tremendous athlete and a good person actually like a really good person I like Greg as a human being. I can joke around with him like this because we're like brothers, you know. Uh, if any of you other guys do it, I'm coming for your heads, you know. Like, that's my like little brother, so it's all good. Uh, we talked before this. I told him I was going to make a response video. He's like, all right, cool. But the, the information is just inaccurate, and I, and I felt an obligation to prevent, you know, further miseducation. You know, so free class, Keto X, not any, you know, I'm not asking you to buy anything. Just go to the free class, learn more about it. TheKetoClass.com, 100% free, you know. Uh, you can buy Greg's program. Go buy it. Spend your money on it. It's good, right? But I'm going to give you a free class all about it. You can register. It's going to be a free online class, free master class. I'm just going to break everything down because I've been a personal trainer for over 15 years. I've been working out personally myself for 18 years, and I am just knowledgeable on this subject and I can speak on it from a place of authority. Not only that, I'm someone who actually did it. Like Greg never ever did a ketogenic diet. He did a low carb diet. That's what he spoke to, but he never did this. So I don't know if you really want to take advice on someone who's never walked the walk. You know what I'm saying? I just don't know if that's what you want to do. Greg's a good guy, I like him. We're friends. Uh, but I didn't like that video. You know, again, I'm biased, right? I have a keto product, but I'm going to teach you guys keto for free. I'm going to teach you everything I know about keto for free. You know, uh, I want you to go buy Greg's, Greg's products, though, man. Good, good products. Go out and buy them. Spend your money on them. I'm going to give you our joint for free. Break the whole thing down for you live and in person and answer your questions for free just because, man, I just, I, just, I just want the right information out there. I just want people to be better informed on what keto the ketogenic diet is and what it isn't all right and i'd like to take this opportunity to challenge greg to a debate i want to do an online debate we're going to do it i want to do it live google hangouts we do it on my youtube or youtube and i want, and I want it live i want it live you know leave a comment on this video if you want me and greg to debate live i don't want us to make keep making videos about each other, I don't want to get into the bait war. So who can Google? Who can go on PubMed and Google the most uh, articles? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we can do that all day, right? You can find evidence that ketogenic is ineffective. You can find a lot of evidence that is wildly effective and it helps in so many things. Uh, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather do a live debate and Greg's down to do that. You know, this is this is in fact a challenge. Uh, so. Leave a message on his video too. Say debate Brandon. Let's do it. Go on his go on his uh, social media. Tell him uh, to, to debate Brandon live. Go on his uh, Instagram. Uh, it's gonna go on his Facebook, man. This I'm calling him out, man. I'm calling him out. I want to do a live debate. You know, and I want it streamed live on YouTube and Facebook. We'll do a Facebook live, streaming on YouTube live. Let's just do this. Let's do this. I don't want to. I don't want to make no video. I want to keep making videos about each other. Let's do this live. Let's do it live. And another thing, Greg said. He said it was not sustainable. If you want to see how someone sustains a ketogenic diet day in and day out while working hard, while training, while running a business, then you need to subscribe to my new channel. I have a vlog channel where all I do is daily vlogs every day. Daily vlogs every day. It's pretty lit. It's pretty lit, and you'll see me grinding, working hard working out hard building my business building other people's businesses you know what i'm saying we're doing big things and all the while and traveling all around the world traveling all around the world i'm going on a world tour right now I just came back from london i'll be in australia next week um 
all the while doing the ketogenic diet. All right, uh, it's, it's called the Victory Vlog, Brandon Carter Victory Vlog. I'll put the link down here or you can search it, Victory Vlog. So yeah, go do that. Register for the class, free free online class, the, the ketoclass.com. Let's do this, all right?